News that's just coming in. There's a furor over BBC's documentary on Prime Minister Narendra Modi. I mean, BBC documentary row. Now, UK lawmaker Lord Karan Billy Moria has heaped praises for Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He said, and I quote, Narendra Modi is one of the most powerful people on the planet. So the UK must be closest and trusted friend and partner of India in the coming decades. want to do business with India. We need to go the extra mile. And I conclude with this. Narendra Modi, as a boy, sold tea at his father's tea stall at a railway station in Gujarat. Today, Narendra Modi is one of the most powerful people on this planet as Prime Minister of India. Today, India has a presidency of the G20. Today, India has a vision in the next 25 years to be the second largest economy in the world with a GDP of $32 billion. The Indian Express has left the station. It is now the fastest train in the world, the fastest growing major economy in the world. The UK must be the closest and trusted friend of partner of India in the decades ahead. My colleague Ashutosh is now joining me on the story. Ashutosh, we did see the kind of documentary that has come out. But now one lawmaker from the UK is praising Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Well, absolutely. This contrast gave a big shot uh, in arms to the BJP and uh, Prime Minister Modi because one side, the state-run television uh, brings a documentary criticizing the then Chief Minister and now the Prime Minister Narendra Modi. And subsequently, the next day, you hear a, a statement praising words uh, from uh, one uh, Indian origin uh, a British parliamentarian members of the Lord of the House. And remember, uh, Billy Moria, who's been uh, natively a uh, resident of Hyderabad, but basically all the Parsi family from India who hail from uh, Gujarat's Navsari district uh, largely have opened. This is not the first time when he's uh, showering praise of words for the Prime Minister Modi. But what is significant is that the same uh, country where a state-sponsored uh, television criticizes the Prime Minister in a documentary, and uh, next day you have uh, the parliamentary praising for him. So this is indeed a good contrast that we are seeing in uh, you. UK and perhaps uh, on the day when there was such discussions, even the British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak also uh, supported and came in defence for the Prime Minister Modi. Right, Ashutosh. Thank you for joining me with all those details of the story. Now, the centre is tightening its grip over the BBC documentary on Prime Minister Narendra Modi. A day after calling it a propaganda piece, the government issued directions for blocking multiple YouTube videos and Twitter posts sharing the links to the documentary, which is titled India, the Modi Question. The center claims the BBC report undermines the sovereignty and integrity of India and raised questions on the authority and the credibility of Supreme Court, among other agencies. Now, the move by the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting immediately attracted strong criticism from the opposition. Jairam Ramesh posted an earlier video of Prime Minister Atil Bihari Vajpayee wanting Modi to step down as CM after the 2002 Gujarat riots. TMC also called the center insecure over this documentary. Meanwhile, a group of 302 former judges, former bureaucrats and veterans slammed the documentary, terming it as motivated charge sheet against a fellow Indian and a patriot. They also called the documentary a reflection of BBC's unrelenting prejudice towards India. BBC ne kuch dikhaya hai, to usse Bharti Janta Party aur Pirdhan Mantri kyun parishan hai? Uspe kaise pabandhi laga sakte? BBC ne jo डॉक्यूमेंट्री बनाई है उस पर पाबंदी लगाना यह कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन के खिलाफ है हम प्रेस की मीडिया की आजादी के समर्थक हैं और विचारों की भिन्नता होते हुए भी इसको अन्यथा नहीं लिया जाना चाहिए ब्रिटिश मीडिया का बेसिकली इंपीरियलिस्टिक माइंड है इनका और वो उनसे बर्दाश्त नहीं होता कि भारत प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी जी की अध्यक्षता में प्रोग्रेस कर रहा है एक ग्लोबल पावर बन रहा है जो इंटरनेशनल फोर्सेस हैं उनसे ये बर्दाश्त नहीं होता और बीबीसी उनके एजेंडा पर इस डॉक्यूमेंट्री को जो प्रधानमंत्री के खिलाफ है भारत के खिलाफ है उस भारत को गलत लाइट में दिखाने की कोशिश है आफ्टर ट्वेंटी इयर्स टू पुट दिस काइंड ऑफ ब्लेम by completely ignoring the judiciary of India, the Supreme Court of India is not credible at all. In fact, BBC has completely destroyed its credibility by bringing about uh, such a uh, documentary.